I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the basic concepts of annuities present value. The question here is how much do you need to invest now at 4.8% to provide regular payments of $500 per year for the next 4 years. Now when we are talking about how much do we need to invest now we are interested in present value. So that word relates to the present value. So it's a key word which helps you to figure out whether it is future value or present value. Correct? So you have to identify these words so that you can apply the correct formula. Right? Now let's look into the question. Draw a timeline and understand how to solve it. It says how much do you need to invest now at 4.8 percent to provide regular payments of $500 per year for the next four years. So let me show a time timeline here for four years. So we will say now is at present we will call it zero and these are our years one, two, three and four right. So after one year so to provide regular payments of 500 per year for the next four years. So after at the end of the year, you can say next year, one, two, three, four, right? So, and how much do we need? We need regular payment of $500. And the question is, how much do we invest now, right? So invest now means we need to find their present value. So what is this present value of this $500? This is what we need to figure out. What is the present value of the $500 which we'll get after two years? What is the present value of $500 which we are going to get after three years? And what is the present value of the last $500 which we should be getting after four years? So that is what we want to figure out. This is this is what we are saying is is present value, right? Sum of all this, when you add them up, when you add them up, then you get your answer. So that is the amount which you will be investing. Correct. Now to help you figure out how to calculate this, let's remind of a compound uh, compounding formula. So amount A. I'll just derive it here. A is the amount and P is the principal invested, which we are saying present value, A is the future value. And if you invest it, then if the rate of interest is R, let me write I in this case, we are doing per annum. So it's like the purpose of taking this per annum is not to confuse you with the compounding period. So we have kept compounding period as one just to make it very, very simple, right? So N is also equals to number of years since the compounding period is one year. And from this formula, if you want to rearrange for P, what do you get? A divided by one plus I to the power of N, correct? So, so the principal amount is equals to a divided by 1 plus i to the power of n, right? So now in NFTs, we talk about present and future values, correct? So, so we say p is a present value. So you can replace this with pv, for example, right? So you get the present value of all these amounts, which you are going to get after a year, two year, three year, or four years. So applying this formula, we can find the present value of each $500, correct? So we can say that this value here will be A is 500, which you'll get after one year. At present, if you invest 500 <coughs> divided by one plus rate of interest, let me write down here, I is 4.8%, right? 4.8%, that really means 0.048, right? In decimals, divided by 100. So it is 1 plus 0 0.048 to the power of 1 because it has invested for one year. 
for the next one it is going to be 500 divided by 1 plus 0 0.048 to the power of 2 likewise these are the present values for each okay I can also add and write down right so 1.048 to the power of 4 fine so these are the present values you can use the calculator to calculate these values <coughs> so we'll do 500 divided by 1.048 equals to in decimals we can write this as equal to 477 so we'll round them to two decimal places 477.10 right the next one is 500 divided by uh, 1.048 square so that gives you 455.25 and then we have 500 divided by <coughs> 1.048 cube and that is 434.40 so we are just rounding them to two decimal places 500 divided by 1.048 to the power of 4 equals to 414.50 right you can see that their present values are kind of decreasing because that money after four years will compound to 500 so it makes sense so your calculations are correct now you can add all these so we'll add 477.10 plus 455.25 plus 434.40 plus 414.50 equals 2 in decimals we get this amount as 1781.25 right so that's the total amount which we'll be investing now correct so this is the amount which we invest now and what do we get out of it we get 500 each year for four coming years so that is what it is so you can actually plan sometimes uh, for example a study loan so that you know when you invest this much you get enough money to pay off for your tuition for example so that is how it works now another way to calculate this was to use the formula directly so that's the formula which is combination of uh, what we did with geometric series formula right so let me give you the geometric series formula which you might use to calculate Geometric series is sum of n terms is equals to a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Now in this particular case, what is a? So a is this amount 500 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0. So I could write a as equal to 500 times 1.0. 048 to the power of minus 1 correct or you could write it as it is and r in this case is you're always multiplying by 1 over this term right 1 over this term so it'd be 1.048 to the power of minus 1 and n in this case is 4 for you so you can also use this formula find a r and n substitute these values and calculate so you can do this as an exercise you will get the same result now you can also use the now combination of these will give you a simplified formula for present value which is present value is the regular amounts you get times 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of minus n and everything divided by i so we can use this formula and calculate so, so let me again do the calculations using this formula correct so what we have here is let's say present value is equals to r is 500 
we have 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.048 to the power of minus 4 since 4 years divided by i which is 0 0.048 right so so that's the formula let's apply the formula and check the result so what we have here is 500 within brackets 1 minus within brackets I can write this as 1 okay plus 0 0.048 bracket close to the power of minus 4 so let me write this in brackets I should use the other minus actually uh, let me delete this okay so I should use this minus right minus 4 bracket close again a bracket close divided by 0 0.048 and that gives us 1781.24 so we get 1781.243 anyway so it is kind of accurate what we did right this was rounding every time so we are rounding at the end so the present value so we can write on our answer in dollars the present value is 1781.24 right so that is how you can actually solve this question so in this video I have given you options and I hope you understand how to solve such questions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.